So the same way you can be in the hospital, you can have three patients having difficulty in breathing, but the cause of that breathing difficulty will be different. So somebody can be like, okay, so as a diagnosis and maybe lateness related to heavy traffic. A man can be like lateness related to what? Oversleeping. So what I'm saying is that there, there can be instances where candidate A and candidate B can have the same problems, but then the causes can be different. That is what I'm trying to put across. So we can have the same problems, but our course will be what will be different. So that is what I want you to know. So when you are writing the so when you are writing your nursing diagnosis, I have written ineffective breathing pattern. You should find out what is causing that, and then you relate it to so ineffective related to. Oh, look at the diagnosis. The patient is having pneumonia. Or pneumonia is infection of the lungs. So definitely, when there's infection of the lungs, there's too much secretion. So I can relate it to that. So ineffective breathing pattern related to what infection of the lungs or inflammatory process in the lungs you are correct somebody can also be like for example malaria the patient has become unconscious you can relate that difficulty in breathing to unconsciousness because when i am unconscious you can see that i will not i won't be able to breathe well so they will give us to breathe so unconsciousness can even be a cause for a different patient so we cannot have the same problems but our courses will be different. So until you write the problem plus the course, you will not have a complete nursing diagnosis. So um, with all what I've discussed, I want to see in the comment section. Let's just say patient complains of pain. Or let's do let's do stand by the breathing difficulty. In your own, um, in your own way, write nursing diagnosis for me. Any anyone in the comment you can type. I want to see whether you are following. In the next one, I want to see comment. Um, give me a nursing, a complete nursing diagnosis on patient has got in breathing. A complete nursing diagnosis. I want to see in the comment section those who are following. Anybody that's type is in the comment section and we're breathing difficulty. What are you going to do? I want to see your nursing diagnosis. Yes, child of grace. Ineffective breathing part in later accumulation of inner lungs. Excellent. Yes, that's very excellent. 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 Ethanol impaired gaseous exchange related to obstruction of the airway. That's also correct. Very good. Hadia. Ineffective breathing part in related to bronchospasm. Yes, that's also correct. And then uh, bronchospasm is more medical. So somebody can say related to maybe involuntary contraction of the lungs yes and then kobe chronics people have strange names kobe chronics ineffective within parts related to congestion in the lungs okay that's also correct uh, user four five impaired gas exchange related to congestion in the lungs i also take that adobe impaired gas exchange related to obstruction of the airway correct upcoming decreased fluid volume related to gastrointestinal motility Yes, I'll take that, but it's not related to the breathing problem, but it's a correct nursing diagnosis, yes. So yes, with what is coming in, I'm very impressed. So that is how you write a complete nursing diagnosis. Um, Elizabeth Safwa risks for falls related to light headaches or light headaches. That's also correct, but it's not related to the breathing problem. But then it's a correct nursing diagnosis that you can write for another problem. Christine Safwa called impaired gas exchange related to inflammation of the lungs. Excellent, that's correct. In fact, I'm very impressed. It means that you are following and understanding the lectures. And if you are enjoying it, don't forget to give us gifts. You can give me gifts like people are giving me flowers. Belinda has given me two flowers. Maybe she has also given me flowers. I'm very happy. 
I want more gifts. You push give me more gifts. Yeah, so that is very I mean excellent. Anxiety let's short terms of breath. Okay, very good. Okay, now let me go to the chest pain. Let me see how um you write the chest pain. Now the first person to get it correct will get a gift from Lancentia Hub after we are done with the session. So I want a nursing diagnosis on patient complaints of chest pain, a complete nursing diagnosis. Patient complaints of chest pain. Uh, candidates, you may start work. National Science and Mass Quiz. Um, I don't have the music on the background yet, but I can sing with my voice. Panan, 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 pan, 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 panan. You have 30 seconds. Yes, Presec, Legon. I'm at my senior high school. I want a complete nursing diagnosis on patient complaints of chest pain. Okay, Eunice, AJB. Acute pain related to difficulty in breathing. Okay, I'll take that one. I'll give you um, two over five. Um, Eva from Poma, acute pain related to accumulation of fluid in the lungs. Um, okay, I'll also give you two over five. Yes, Wisconsin Senior High School, where are they? 37 Military Hospital Senior High School, where are they? Acute pain related to inflammation of the lungs. I'll take that, but I'll give you two over five. Beck Edward, acute pain related to bronchial construction. Okay, GH Padiqual, decreased cardiac output. Um, it's, not, it's not even a complete nursing diet, that's just one part. You should add related to, to it. Acute pain related to prolonged cough. Aula, Aula na, related to let two come, okay, before it to be correct, okay, let two come. Acute pain related to inflammation process in the lungs, that's correct, but, okay, now, we fall down well, but unfortunately, none of you have won the gift, so I'll take my credit back. Now, it's very excellent to write that, but then, you, you always saw that, I told you that, in writing this, you should tell the location of the pain it should also reflect in your nanda so for instance like um let me use a uh, the one who was saying the cough yes so if you've written acute pain nicely at least put excellence so someone like ohima albi acute pain in the chest say so if you write acute pain you should put the location in brackets so this is a very good one that I'm writing across board. So something like acute pain. So acute pain into brackets chest related to excessive coughing. What is so that's what is causing the the pain? Excessive cough. So, what I'm trying to say is that when you write the acute pain, like the Nanda is saying, excellent. So, let's go to the Nanda. You will see that under physical comfort. So, the heading that, so all this should be at the back of your head. Though, because in examination, you won't have access to this paper. Okay, you have that to this paper. Okay. So, what we are saying is that, uh, Haji Yusuf, thank God I'm able to join. Oh, sorry. It means you had a hell time joining. Okay, welcome. And we hope you have a good time. So you see that under physical comfort, that is where pain is. So it is saying that Africa we can have impaired comfort, we can have acute pain, chronic pain, labor pain. So with our midwife student, you see that if it's a midwife or a, a pregnant woman, you see labor pain. So Nanda is saying that where a nurse comes into contact with a patient who is complaining of pain. When you are writing your nursing diagnosis, these are the ways you can write it. Impaired comfort, acute pain, or chronic pain. Now, if you are nurses, you've done medical nursing, you've done surgical nursing, so you understand it's acute and chronic. So when I say acute, it's happening suddenly. So per assessment, you see that maybe the pain just started two days ago. That is acute, it's not chronic. But if per assessment, the pain has been there for more than three to six months, then it comes out chronic. So per our assessment, it is what? Acute pain. But we we'll put the location what? into brackets. So acute pain, chest, 
abdomen wherever in bracket before you add what they related to okay then you can get your because some examiners can it is correct though but some examiners can be like where is the pain put it into bracket or specify it okay so take note of that somebody can also use impaired comfort so something like patient complaints of headache i can just go straight away impaired comfort related to what severe headache simple because you see if i go and write acute pain into bracket headache sometimes relating it can be very difficult maybe the person is hypertensive i can relate to high blood pressure but in a situation where you find yourself very tight this headache you don't know what is causing it you can just go straight forward impaired comfort related to what severe headache when well, your life is simple life is not difficult simple but where you can be able to tell what where we, we can be able to tell that you know the cause of the headache then obviously i can say that acute pain bracket headache then i add the related maybe related to insufficient sleep you get it very very um simple okay so that is with the nursing diagnosis and so viewers i have opened up on some of the problems you can find on the medical wards how to go about it and how to write your complete nursing diagnosis and for you to make it complete how to write it tomorrow when we come we are going to look at how to write objective outcome criteria and how to make a nursing orders and then we'll add what you can see on the surgical ward and close it up i believe you all enjoy this significant interaction don't forget to send us likes like flowers and all those things and also continue to share and then we'll have a good time you need to say sir please can you relate the nursing diagnosis to the patient problem yes if, if they need to be but don't do it directly try to find a way of doing it but it's not related to direct to the patient problem okay so let's get at the back of our mind don't um relate it directly to the the the, the, the problem per se try to find a very nice way of doing that okay yes so if you have any questions our platform or the whatsapp platform are there licential hub or you can message us on tiktok we'll answer you to our first timers you can also follow us on youtube as well leave your comment and then we and to all those who have given us gift today you said thank you very much tomorrow same time we will look at the part two of the care plan and so for now what we are going to do is that try to look out for problems that you can get on medical ward write your problems down write your corresponding strength it should correspond and all what you discussed today you you can be able to um identify it rabbi says sir please can you go over the headache okay i was saying that with the headache sometimes a patient can tell the out by assessment oh me tip oh now then then you know tip i will because oh me ni mo and i put me me ni me ni me tip i you see at that instant it is very difficult for you to get your related to so a smart candidate or a smart student to be like okay i'll use impaired comfort then i'll now relate it to what severe headache because i cannot really tell where's headache so it's not comfortable so impaired comfort but in a situation where the patient has told that oh my headache was caused because i didn't have enough sleep then i can now use what acute pain into bracket headache related to what insufficient sleep at night you see so i'm just teaching you how to be smart if i go to a parent, patient like there's headache all though but i don't know what is causing the headache you see that you kind of be, to be, to be in a tight corner if you're going to use acute pain okay so you just go straight for oh acute pain or oh, sorry impaired comfort related to what severe headache then now you are you see that you are very cool to go okay and so tomorrow same time again i will we'll look at the second part of the surgical aspect some of the problem you can find and then what we can also go into and look at how we write our nursing orders and our objective and outcome criteria then i'll give you a problem and i'll time each and every one of you and to see 
if you can finish on time in in, in exam you can beat time and so thank you very much and thank you for joining us and all those who are first time and share the links to your colleagues in different schools to also follow us on tiktok licentia.hub on youtube we are licentia hub so i get interesting content but this weekend expect or in the in the on friday expect our video on administration of tablets and so expect our video on that thank you very much and have a good evening it's bye for now <laughs>